You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Alright. Why? What will he do? Get mad at me. What does he do when he gets mad? He gets angry, and he says he's disappointed in me. And then he just loves me and wants me to be safe. That's it? Nothing else? Yeah. That's the worst. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurt. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? <laughs> you have to bandage it like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. I need something to clean it up and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages. But I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this applies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. We're not the same age. What? We're not the same age. You said we were. We're not. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm younger. A lot. You don't seem like it. That's just how it is. So we could be friends then? Yes. Promise? Yes. I don't know how old I is now. I'll ask Pinky swears forever. I would think she's probably around 10. I'll see if time. I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. 10 or 11, I guess. I don't know. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. I guess. Thanks, Thanks back Sarah. Outside. Where if I could take this? I don't need bandits. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Yeah. All right. Dead. All right. Here we go. All right. Sneak back out of this house.
head. Eyes are oh man, it's gonna burn. Oh. Oh. Might draw some attention to us. How pretty this is gonna look. Right, not pretty suck. at all. Oh man. Alright, first thing to do. Uh, grab that. Oh man. Fun part. Got the needle and the thread, the fishing wire, I should say. I actually got to put it through the hole. Look at that first track. Yay! No, just like last time. Just how Crystal showed me. Stay with it, Clementine. Come on, stay with it. Stay with it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Maybe two more. One more, maybe. It's got tied knot. Oh. Tie it though with one hand. That's the hard, that's gonna be a hard part. Or it just automatically closed up. Alright. Let's just banish it up. Come on, 
bash his brains in. Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? Shit, should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn look is sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? <laughs> That's why you got bit, in the, bit by the dog in the first place. You're trying to eat. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Wait, nice and cool. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. Uh, yeah. Look at that smile. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Yeah. You know, I get it. You're pissed that we locked you up. And I'm sorry. I don't understand why, I mean, taking precaution, but I mean. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for, well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... We had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. Yeah, there's no one lost like that. 
Oh, there you go. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well... I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? ran away. I was stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away. And Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. <coughs> I'll try not to bring out the blackmail. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. Uh, I get another chance. I'll blackmail that bitch. <laughs> 